Uh, welcome to TV14 Plymouth Panther Wrestling. This is Matt Kaskowski alongside Conrad Kaskowski. We're here for the final dual meet for a home dual meet for the Panthers. They're taking on Winnicani Wolves. My partner in crime, uh, Mike Briggs, can be here. He's uh, recovering from some surgery. I hope good swift recovery from him. We're taking. Um, we're starting with uh, 150 pounds. Cole Anderson, seniors, be taking on Brody Hart. Uh, tonight is senior night. Had some early introductions for the, the seniors. Uh, Cole uh, is looking to go into the uh, medical field afterwards, uh, after high school. First 30 seconds just kind of setting up here. Cole's having a solid season. Just reaching out there. In on a single. See if he can finish. He's going to keep driving. Maybe a dump. He's going to drive across, pick up. Gets the two, two nothing. Cole Anderson, one minute left in this first period. Nice takedown, solid lift. They're right on the edge, so they're gonna, probably gonna get called out here. There we go. Let's see what he's gonna work here. He's gonna continue to ride. 48 seconds left, uh, work towards a pin. Switch, blocked well by Cole. Let's see if we can get him back down solidly. Gets it down. Right back up to his feet, the Winnicani Wolves go as they go out of bounds. Oh, we had a locked hands. That was a very quick locked hands call. So it is two to one. He must have just had it just locked. Good. Good. Uh, trying a couple different uh, cross face, rolling that wrist under, trying to set up a perhaps ball and chain. Thirteen seconds left. I think we're going to go without an, any other points. So we're going to go into the second period. It's two to one. The Panthers. Uh, I mean, sorry, it's going to be uh, Winnicani's choice. No, he defers, and so Cole chooses down. Panthers are having a great season on duels this year. Looking, looking to keep that going. We're gonna get up, up to his feet. He's got hand control. He should be able to get the one. Let's see him get that takedown again, making it three to one. Oh. Snap down, led into a shot. See if he can block this better. He's got a good sprawl going. He's got the cross face. He's got it defended well. He's just got to keep walking behind. He should be okay. There he goes. That should be. There's two takedown. <laughs> I don't think the camera picked out, but one of the paw kids wanted to get out on the mat. Uh, they, they recognize the uh, young uh, Plymouth wrestlers as he's got. Cole's got a half Nelson. It's in deep. He's getting the turn. A lot of time left, 45 seconds. He's got the count. He's going to get, oh, he slipped through. He gets three near fall. He's trying to go for that pin. Now he's get that arm synced back in. 30 seconds left. See if he can settle. Yeah. 
Not quite there yet. 20 seconds left, a lot of time. You gotta settle in. 10 seconds. Oh, it's gotta be there, it's gotta be there. Just, just couldn't quite get the uh, shoulder down. So it's eight to one. Winnick County is going to choose both up. Uh, I'd watch a throw here. I feel like it's going to want to lock up. This is 150 pounds. Cole Anderson. His final home match for Cole. He's up eight to one. He's got him locked up here. Can he throw it? He's got a cow catcher locked up. That's a head arm. He's got his arm underneath there. He's hooked it well. A good single. Let's see if he can dump it. He's got to dump. Ooh. That was right on the edge. He needs one more takedown at least here to get major decision. It is eight to one. A major decision is win by eight points. I think Plymouth's gonna need all the points they get. They're giving up a couple weights. Winnick County's got a full team. He's got the arm there. Ah, I should have seen a double duck. 45 seconds left in this final period. I'd like to see him get a takedown, get those two point, to, uh, uh, that extra team point. Ah, this feels like a stalemate, but keep going, keep going. Trying to walk it over. They go out of bounds. 16 seconds left. Sixteen seconds left. He's up eight to one. Cole Anderson. No mistakes. And he'll come out with a win. Would like to get two another takedown. Shot. Single. Can he stop? Spin. Spin. Three. Is it there? No, no takedown. So eight to win. Cole Anderson does come out a winner. And uh, for senior night, great job by uh, Cole. Cole Anderson. So we go to 157 pounds. Sawyer Daly. Uh, he'll be going against Brody Hart. I think I announced the wrong uh, wrestler at 150. Um, Sawyer's having a very good year. Quick takedown there by Winnicani. He's got a tough match here, though. Brody Sr. is a quality wrestler. Trying to lock up the cradle. He's got a good cradle locked up. Breaks the lock. Spiral ride, can he roll out? Couldn't quite get the one. Sit out, short sit. Gets the one. One minute left. Low single again. That's a really good low single. 
Can he scramble? Sawyer's in trouble here. Scrambles to a single. Oh, he's got to be careful. He got his got on his hip. Anytime you get on your hip, you're in trouble. We're going to call a stalemate. 27 seconds left. Going on that single again. Really nice single shot. Six seconds. He's still got the ankle. He should be okay here. It's going into the uh, second period. It's two to one. Uh, Hearts. Hearts lead. Sorry, has been, no, that was a false start there. soiler has been a uh, solid, solid year. Um, as we're getting, approaching the uh, tournament time, he's gonna be going against these guys, these quality wrestlers coming up a lot more. So this is a great chance. It's two to two. Oh. That's a good throw. He rolls through. Gets the two takedown. What a great, great call by the referee to not call that first takedown too early. So that makes it four to two. Got a good ride. Sawyer does have a good leg ride. Is he gonna get the count? It's not there, now he's in trouble, he's high. One, not two. That's gonna be a one escape. Yeah, so for going, uh, kind of running out of uh, bounds there, he get the uh, one, or he got the stalling call, but he had lost control and uh, got the, um, escape, it's four to three. And once again, Brody Hart is in on that single. Silas gotta get on that defense. He's flattening him out here. Uh, 18 seconds left. That was a pretty quick stall call, or I mean stalemate call. Shot, but blocked. I feel like he didn't commit on that shot. Enough. Good defense by Brody Hart there, though. It's four to five. Very close. He needs a good ride. No mistakes. One, not two. If anything, this switch is good. Wow. That was a great switch. So Sawyer's got some work to do. He needs to make this happen. Leg ride, 130, 30 seconds gone in this third and final period. He's on his hips. If your leg's in, this isn't a great spot for you. So maybe uh, Sawyer can make this work. There he goes, tips, gets the, the tip. 
It's a two count. Two near fall. Gets the reversal. He's got to turn him. 40 seconds left. It's nine to six. Brody Hart from Winnicani is leading. He needs a turn. He needs to work something here. He got a turn earlier. He's got to watch. He doesn't get high again. Stalling call on red. He's got to make something happen. It's there. One, two. He does get two, but not quite enough. Oh, Brody Hart's going to come out the winner. Eight to nine, Sawyer Daly. Couldn't quite pull it out. What a good match. I think uh, Sawyer can uh, learn a lot from that match. And when they meet again in the conference tournament, I think things might be a little bit different. So as we get ready for 165 pounds, I just want to say that this program is brought to you by our backers. Our Plymouth Community TV sponsor team. We're Green proud to have the backers supporting the youth and teams in our community. Devin Miller of Plymouth. And we'll go through some of those backers later. Right now we got Brady Yonk from Winnicani going against Devin Miller. Good ties. I think what we're seeing here is uh, Plymouth has their strength in there. Uh oh, nice, nice job. Devin's in trouble. Devin's in a lot of trouble. He caught that, he got caught in that throw. There's one minute left in this first period. Devin's got a lot of fight to give. Oh, there it is. That's going to make it tough for Plymouth from here on out. We needed a much better, uh, we're hoping to get it was, we knew that was going to be a tough one, but we are hoping to get a little bit better in the fall out of that. So we go to 175. Jordan Treyu going against Avery Petrosky. Petrosh. Again, we're matching up with our best against their best. So. Jordan Trejo of Plymouth. Avery Petrosky of Winnicott. Jordan having a having a quality year. Uh, a senior out on senior night in, in on a single, but good, not a clean shot. So he's locked up in a front headlock. Let's see if he can drop out of this throw attempt or trip attempt. Going out, going out. We're still in the uh, uh, neutral position. Nice single. See if we can finish. Gonna dig out the back. Trying to dump. Couple options here. He's got to finish though. Oh, that's not what you want. He got stretched out. 
and flattened. He's in a lot of trouble now. I think we're gonna get a stalemate call here. No. Didn't get the stalemate call. So two takedown for Winnicani. He's got an arm locked up and a half. JT's in trouble here. He needs to roll out of this, fight out of this. There's 20 seconds left. Oh, that's tough for JT. That is definitely tough for him. So Plymouth in a lot of trouble here. We're, we've, we've gotten into some problems. So we're not going to have 190 pounds. Nobody at 190. So we go to 215. So double forfeit at 190. Carson. Petrashi is going to be going against Silas Daly. This will be at 215 pounds. They're both 190 pounders. In fact, Carson weighed in about 182 pounds. Silas, uh, the 103 and 10 record, I'm hoping to make it 104. A career record, um, getting that first takedown. Silas is going to be going to the University of Minnesota. It's senior night again, once again. Let me remind you, uh, Silas will be going to the University of Minnesota. We get a stalling call with Winokani going out of bounds. It's two to one. Forty seconds gone in this first period. Silas using that leg, kind of roll him over here. He's gonna work his way out of that to get the uh, uh, escape. It's four to two. Uh, Silas at uh, Minnesota will be uh, studying biomechanical engineering. So we definitely wish him luck. In on a single, Silas able to block well. Gets the takedown. That's his third takedown. Let's him up. Let's see a clean shot. Silas, uh, last time we saw him, was trying to get that, that foot stomp to work. And he, nice double. Just hits that blast double perfectly. Uh, he has tried to make that foot stomp work quite well. Doesn't get a tilt. He's up eight to three. It's going to go neutral, trying to get as many takedowns as he can. Uh, we are going to need a pin from him tonight. Stops him quite well. So it's four, uh, ten to four. Silas, he's, he's got his work cut out for him uh, this year. Uh, he's got a, he's in a very tough 190 pounds in Wisconsin. Um, He's listed as honorable mention in the national rankings, uh, number two in division two in the state level. 
that tells you how how good uh, 190 pounds is in Wisconsin. 14 to 6, nice. Just a fantastic, fantastic shot. Making it 16 to 7. Silas is looking, we're looking for Silas to be our uh, first two-time state champion. Uh, we're coming up uh, in February when the tournament season starts. He's got a lot of work to do. Uh, but uh, he can do it. He's got a lot of fortitude. He's going to keep going until he can get that. 18 to 7. We're going to go into the third period. Gets a one count on that tilt. Nothing there. Is it going to give him the point? It's got a 10 point lead. Uh, red shows down. Gets the free point. Goes for the shot. Defended well. You see, uh, Silas is just very good at positioning and knowing his body positions, knowing where to uh, apply the pressure, um, just getting a simple spin around. There's one minute left, 22 to 10. That's 12 points. He needs... 14. He's got to get a got to get the pin. We need that pin. Stacks him up. And there's the pin. So nice. Silas getting a full match in. And uh, coming out uh, winning his last home dual meet match uh, with a pin in the third period. A much needed pin for uh, the Panthers. So we're going to go to 285 pounds, and uh, Deacon Allen is going to be Daniel taking Simon. on Daniel Deacon Simon. Deacon, Allen. Deacon is our 215 pounder, so he's got some work cut out for him. Uh, he might have done this in the past before with... Uh, People avoiding Silas. Deacon has had a pretty good year this year. He's wrestled well, uh, but he's going to be giving up a lot, a lot of points. He's got to be careful not to get underneath, which is exactly what what he wants. Lift your head up and get under. Gets, oh, wow, what a nice single leg. Hits that outside single really nicely. That's where leverage and knowing your leverage, and there he goes. Deacon Allen getting him roast over. Deacon stretching him out. Gets the pin. And that's a big win for us there. Deacon Allen coming through on that one. And that's going to tie the team score back up to uh, 15 to 15. Uh, so let me take a moment to thank some of our backers. Teets Piggly Wiggly, Bank First, National Paddock Club and Plymouth Furniture. As we go to 106 pounds, Megan Schunemans, it's going against James Baroni of Winnicani. 
So that was a big win there by Deacon and Allen. We need every point we're going to get. winnicani has got a good team this year. Good single. Our double switches to a single and dumps, but not there yet. Oh, does give the two. Megan flattens out nicely off that three quarters half. Megan Schuneman wrestling very well this year. Up and they're following her footsteps of her sister, who's over at uh, Stevens Point and wrestling over there. She's got. Ooh, that was close. That was close. I don't know that he quite had the uh, uh, control, but uh, I do say that this referee has been very, very good uh, this this match. I, I really liked everything that he's done. I couldn't quite get out. Just get hand control on the dump. There was a locked hands. It was very quick, but it was there. Two nothing. Forty five seconds left. See if Megan, she's got to sit. Ooh, that's very close to dangerous. There you go, gets out. 13 seconds left, gets that one escape. Solid shot as they go out of bounds, four seconds left. It's two to one, no mistakes here. So it's gonna be Megan's choice. She's going to defer the choice. And uh, Brody, Brony from Winnicott, is going to choose in the neutral position. He has gotten a couple good shots in. He's really long, so Megan's got to be careful about that shot. She's got to take very clean shots. Right into that single. Good move by Winnicott. Dumps it. That should be two. That's one escape as they go out of bounds. He thought they were out of bounds, so mental mistake there by Winnicani. It's four to two now. Megan's got to get it back here. Sprawling down. She's got an ankle. She's got a front headlock. Could reach across, dump his, dump him on his hip. Dump him out. Oh, he's worked his way around. Winnicani has worked his way around. He's gonna get that takedown. She's got the arm. Got to sneak out the back. Now she's in trouble. She's got to get her arm back. Does not there. So now his his ride is really high here. She's got to work her way out the back door. Get the baseball. Maybe th arm throw over the top. All right, so it's six to two, Winnicani's lead. Megan's gonna choose the ride. She's having trouble on the, on the bottom. So she's gonna try to get a turn here. It's 
Yes, on the switch. Oh, he's got a half in there with that ride. That's going to make it eight to two. So Colin stalling on Megan, maybe uh, holding on and not working her way up. She's got to make get points. One minute left in this third period. They go out of bounds, so it's eight to three. He needs a score. So it's 10 to three, 40 seconds left. Fireman's carry. Megan can keep going on this. She can get the two takedown. 10 to six. Leg ride in. Trying to pull over to get points. Nice job by Megan. Couldn't quite get the victory, losing 10 to six, but good match by her. Winner by decision, James Burley. We're, uh, we get uh, some, I uh, believe a fourth, uh, no, we're gonna have uh, 113 pounds uh, before we do that, uh, I'd like to thank 2020 Visions, Meyer Motors, Waldo State Bank, PJ Campbell's at the Depot, Miller and Belt, Plymouth Glass, Advanced Eye Care, Van Horn Automotive, and American Senior Benefits. Thanks to those and all of our backers here at TB14. Uh, so 113 pounds went to uh, Evan Fisher of Plymouth, Addison Brown of Winnicott. Went to uh, Winnicott on a forfeit. Uh, so Emmett Fisher's going against Addison Brown. 120 pounds. Good single, blocked. Emmett's got to get his leg back. She's stepping over and getting that takedown. Got to work his way out. Just staying down. She's got to work her way up. Uh, that, I, that I agree. She's got to work her way up. That should have been a stalling call. Look away from that, Emmett. Look away and peel that half off. Go, he's got to go. Turn, keep turning, keep turning into it. She's got a high ride here. He's got to recognize, there he goes. 26 seconds left. See a clean. It's 15 seconds left, like to see him get him as no mistakes here. 
So as we go into the second period, it's two, two to one. Winnicani's uh, lead, Brown's lead. Going to take both up. Needs a spin behind off that shot. Needs to go. Worked his way. Now he's in a fire, but we've got to be careful. Flattens it out. Now you got to keep going. Oh, now lean it back. Lean it back. Use that arm. He's got to watch his positioning. Emmett's up three to two. So he's back on, on in position, one minute left. He's gotta work a, uh, a, a turn here. Works it flat. Now he's got to work an arm bar, half Nelson, roll the wrist. He's got a half on the other side. You got to run it. Couldn't quite get it as he peels off the half. Twenty seconds left. Got to run that half. He's got a good gut wrench in there. Keep running that half. Three seconds. Couldn't quite get it. So Emmett's going into the third period. It's three to two. His choice. He's going to choose the down position. I'd like to see him fire up. And go. He's got the arm control. Spins, turns. He's got to make sure to get the one at least. He's trying to get the reversal. If he can clear that arm and spin around, he's going to get the reversal. There you go, that's two right there for the reversal. Now it's five to two, Emmett's lead. No mistakes. Oh, that was, that was a, she had a, a legal headlock. She's gonna roll through on this head arm. He's got to roll through this. He's got to keep going. He's going to keep going. He can roll out of this and get back on top. So it's going to be, he's going to get there. Two reversals, so three near fall makes it seven to seven. 30 seconds left. He needs a turn. He's got to watch his positioning. Got to be careful. Thirteen seconds left. Can he get a uh, point? Can he get a tilt? Needs to get that tilt. Not there. We're gonna go into a little overtime wrestling here. Gonna have a uh, we have a clock. So one minute, sudden, sudden takedown, sudden death. It's 
Snap down, snap and go. You can tell they're tired in on the single. Drive it to finish this. Keep going, Emmett. Don't get flattened out. Keep going. Keep going. Arm across. You can get the two. Get your arm across. There it is. That should be two takedown right there. Emmett. Fisher gets the win in overtime at 120 pounds. That's a big win for, for Plymouth there. So that brings up the score to 24 to 18. As we're gonna go to 126 pounds. We're not going to have anyone at 20, 26, so we're going to have a forfeit here. So this is where Landon Ramsey at 132 has got to come through. We need that six points. It might not be possible. to come back and win this one, but Plymouth has put up a good fight. Landon Ramsey of Plymouth, Garrett Marks of Winnicott. So he's going against Garrett Marks at 132 pounds. Landon getting that single. Landon's been very good this year. Rolling through. That is, ooh, that was close to two. Landon's gotta be careful. He can get fired up a little bit. Good. Double by Winnicani. Garrett Marks. Landon's got it blocked right now. Trying to roll through it. He breaks it, but that's not two yet. He now has a leg and works his way out. Landon has fought this double leg off. Scrambles, can he get out the back door here? He's locked up in a cradle, he's gotta be careful. Gets the two takedown, works his way out. And now he's got a cradle locked up. He's gotta pull him back. Did he get a two count on it? Gets a two count, he got two near fall. You count, the referee counts to two, you get two points. If he counts to five, you get three. We got 25 seconds left. We're gonna go out of bounds. He's still got control. Landon working his way around. He's still in control here as they go out of, no, they're not gonna go out of bounds. Four to nothing, Landon Ramsey with the lead. Green's choice, uh, that's uh, Landon's choice. He's gonna choose down. and working his way up. Nice single, or a nice escape.
So we're going to have a uh, uh, blood time. So as we take a uh, uh, look over at Atlanta, team score at 30 and 18. Let's run through some of those backers again. Uh, Teets Piggly Wiggly, Banked First, Paddock Club, Plymouth Furniture, 2020 Visions, Meyer Motors, Waldo State Bank, PJ Campbell's at the Depot, Miller and Belt, Plymouth Glass, Advanced Eye Care, Van Horn Automotive, and American Senior Benefits. Thanks, thank you to those backers. Uh, they're our Plymouth Community TV sponsor team, and we're proud to have them supporting the youth and teams in our community. And Plymouth Community Television invites you to become a member of the backers and will spread the word about your fine business and organization. Check us out on TV 14, uh, PlymouthTV.org. As we get back to action, And then snap, spins into uh, the ankle. Now he works his way out. Just needs to keep going. And in fact, you can stack them up here. Out the back. Ankle still have, so we're still in a scramble. No points yet. Scramble it out here. 26 seconds left, he needs to go. We're going to have a stalemate. Ten seconds left. Five to nothing. Landon Ramsey is leading. Good double leg as they go out of bounds. Couldn't quite get that. It was a good double leg, though. Gets that double again, just not enough time on that. Winnicott is going to choose the down position. trying to trying to splatle and they're able to slip out and they get the two reversal and he's gonna get back points. He's gotta be careful not to get pinned. Five to five now. Landon's got to make something happen. Landon's got to work his way out. He's got a leg. We're going to have potentially dangerous. Uh, there was an illegal hold of some sorts. I don't know what the hold was. I couldn't quite see. Maybe he worked a full Nelson in or something. So he's going to let him up here and uh, try to get the takedown. Landon would be good to shoot. 
He shoots on that trip attempt, able to get the single, but he's got a big three quarters. Nelson in, if, if Landon can work his way out, dig that leg up, dig that leg up and trip him. Trying to roll through. That's gonna be two near fall, no back points though. 25 seconds left. Landon's got to move. Cradle, he's got to be careful to get cradled. He's got a count. Did he get a two count? He's got to go, he's got to go. And Landon couldn't, I think he didn't know there was a two near fall count. Winner by decision. He did not realize there was a two near fall count. And uh, so Landon just couldn't quite get that. That was a tough one for him. Uh, I think it's a learning experience. You gotta just keep trying to score. So we got no one here at, at 138. Um, so we'll go to our final match. Uh, Cameron Kulo. Taking on uh, Bryce Jones. Uh, Winnicott is going to come out ahead on this uh, dual meet. Uh, unfortunately, uh, missing a couple weights, so um, we knew it was going to be tough to uh, get the victory here. But we will. Let's see if we can finish off with a with a good match by Cameron here. Trying to reach out. Cameron's shown a great amount of improvement. Good double. Nice finish. Perfect double. You see him just perfectly grab right around the knees and drive hard to the finish. As they go out of bounds. 118 left in this first period, Cameron. Kulo up to nothing. Good escape by Winnicani. Making that first move. Thought that was a little telegraphed. I thought I knew he was going to shoot on that second one. It's a little far away. Good defense by Winnicani. Maybe short dragged out of there, but it wasn't in there. Oh, he's got to be careful. He's caught. That's two takedown on the throw. Thirty-six seconds left. He's really got to fight off this off. Twenty-five seconds left. It's going. He's fighting hard. Oh. Well, a tough match for Plymouth here. A tough one for Cameron Kulo. Just getting caught. Tough one for Plymouth as uh, Winnicani Wolves come out ahead 45 to 18. A couple of bright spots. Um, uh, Emmett Fish Fisher getting the win. Cole Anderson starting us off with a win. Uh, Silas Daly pinning. And Deacon Allen getting the, the good pin. So um, I want to take this time to um, thank you uh, for watching. 
this is Matt Kaskowski alongside Conrad Kaskowski, uh, and and we're definitely looking forward to uh, Plymouth and and wishing them luck on the uh, conference tournaments and state tournaments. We we hope for good things from them. So thank you again for watching. Have a great night.